Welcome to our Gabion video. We're going to show you how to install Gabions. It's a very simple technique using local unskilled labor. The baskets we're using are 2 meters long by 1 meter wide by 1 meter high. The mesh we're using is class A galvanized 80 by 100 millimeter aperture. The rock size is 100 to 250 millimeter nominal size. Normally we allow 30% for fines, 1.5 tons per cubic meter. Here we busy unfolding a gabion, it's folded flat, flat like a, a cardboard box when it's applied to site. We open up the gabion and fold up the edges and lace them together along the top corners with the salvage wire supplied and then we start lacing them together from the bottom to the top of the gabion. Um, with the binding wire we supply 7% by weight of mass. It's a simple technique and we can normally train up people to install gabions within a period of 5 days. As can be seen we use rudimentary 200mm combination pliers. We attach the corners with the salvage wire along all corners before we uh, start lacing from the bottom to the top of the cage with the 2.2mm class A galvanized binding wire supplied with the gabion. We attach the binding wire to the bottom of the cage and then using a looping method um, we lace from the bottom to the top alternating every 100 millimeters, a single loop, then another 100 millimeters, a double loop, and then another 100 millimeters, a single loop, um, alternating all the way to the top of the cage and lacing them along the common edge to join the two mesh panels together um, so that they don't come apart once we start filling with the rock. This process can be done um, when you're joining baskets together so that it's one, it's one uh, connection between basket to basket and panel to panel. Much faster this way. This must be done before we fill with rock. Normally we allow one man per cubic meter per day, but on most sites um, where the rock is supplied close to the job, we can achieve two to three cubic meters per man per day. The secret is to keep the, uh, the baskets as vertical as possible during the infill, and for this purpose we use um, frames which we supply to keep the mesh taut during the filling operation. All the lacing must be done tight to ensure that rock does not um, come adrift out of the cage. So this is normally done off-site by persons uh, closing the mesh panels and then the baskets are carried onto site and placed on the geotextile so that the um, filling can take place and then we lace the baskets together before we place the rock inside. As we, as we can see the mesh is a hexagonal shaped mesh, class A galvanized multi cell steel wire. The mesh size is 80 by 100 millimeters so that the minimum side rock that we put inside the cage is 100 millimeters so it doesn't fall out the front mesh. On the inside of the gabion you can use a slightly smaller rock. Here you can see the correct lacing technique, 100 millimeters between uh, loops and alternating double single, double single every 100 millimeters. Sometimes we pass the rock uh, and pack the cage. Uh, the infilling of cage is normally done by hand. Packing the front face first, achieving a nice vertical front face. And then for the one meter high cage we brace it from the front to the back of the cage with the binding wire supplied so that the mesh does not bulge so we use for a one meter high at a about a height of 330 millimeters we use two braces about 300 millimeters apart and you brace it to the back and then the two thirds of the height at 660 we do another brace and then we slightly overfill the cage by about 25 millimeters 
just so that when you lace the lids down they're nice and tight so that especially in a river run environment with very fast flowing water the rock cannot be lost and there isn't any settlement in the gabion cage over a period of time so we say about 1.5 1.6 tons per cubic meter with a void ratio of about 35 um, percent 1.6 tons per cube plus about 30 percent so we have to allow about two tons per cubic meter of rock when we're ordering it from the commercial rock source preferably nice um, angular rock is best rounded rock can be used but with the rounded rock, then we often get uh, more difficulty in achieving the nice vertical front face. Uh, the baskets must be filled adequately. Um, and then along all the external joins, mesh panels must be laced together with the same double twist, single twist technique using the binding wire supplied. making sure that it's bound together adequately and strongly so that it can perform its task over the years that it needs to achieve its goal. The wire that we're lacing together along the top edge is called the salvage wire, which is for the gabion. It's a 3,4 millimeter wire diameter. So it's slightly thicker than the mesh wire, and the gabion, the mesh wire is 2,7 millimeter. So we do the lacing along the salvage wire, the two salvage wires, we join them together. sure that when we closing the lids down they uh, come together snugly and we also lace down the mesh onto the top of the diaphragm so that there's no movement to the mesh. Um, sometimes we need to use crowbars to close the lids properly. We do some these and we use them in tandem two at a time to close the lids properly. Making sure that the baskets are slightly overfilled so that the mesh is tied down as nice and tight the same lacing technique on the top of the diaphragms, 100mm part, single twist, double twist, using the binding wire supply. We do supply um, bracing rods instead of using the binding wire to do the bracing on the cages. contact us for further information on this which makes the um, bracing task much quicker. Thank you very much.